Hi guys, Jeremiah. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at Bridge Integrative Medicine. Uh, this is the last in a three-part series on do-it-yourself hand sanitizers. Uh, if you have not seen Dr. Bruce's video on how to make a hand sanitizer at home, uh, please look at the description below. You're going to see that link. Watch that video because we're going to be referencing some of his content. Um, if you are interested in essential oils and you're wanting to know how to make an essential oil based recipe, uh, again, look at the link below. You're going to see that on there. Uh, this video today is going to be on drinking alcohol and why it's bad to use that in your hand sanitizers. Uh, if you've seen the news at all, Tito's uh, Vodka has come out with a disclaimer, please do not use our products in your hand sanitizers. Uh, that's because when you look at a, an alcohol, uh, whether it's vodka, whiskey, whatever, um, that's going to show you a proof on there. And I wanted to show you on here, uh, being from Missouri, I'm using McCormick's at home. Uh, but uh, on here it shows 80 proof whiskey is going to be 40% alcohol. That's way below the threshold that the WHO and the CDC have set uh, for a hand sanitizer. You have to have 60% or greater total volume alcohol in your containers when you do an at-home hand sanitizing solution, or it's just not going to work. Um, so any of those things that are out there about uh, using vodka at home or using whiskey or different things like that, it's just not going to be the case. Unless it's really high, um, like an 180 proof, um, that's going to mean that it's 90% alcohol, and then it's probably safe to mix, but you're not going to find that as far as the drinking alcohol is concerned. Uh, please like, share, comment on this when we post to social media so that we can stop people from using drinking alcohol in their do-it-yourself do do hand sanitizers and keep people safe. Yeah.